Hey girls, it's Friday. Hope you girls had a really good week. Chelsea, I'm very happy to see your face. It's been quite a while. It sounds like you had so much fun at LeakyCon. I really wish I could have went, but I just didn't have the money, didn't have the time. And I really can't wait to see Deathly Hallows Part 2, because I haven't seen it yet. You really need to catch up on some of that reading there, girl. You haven't read nearly enough books. I'm glad you're reading Harry, A History. I found that book to be a fantastic book. I really enjoyed it. This past week, I read Living Dead in Dallas, the second book for the True Blood series. Again, like the first one, very descriptive. I'm actually really surprised at how descriptive these are. It's kind of like vampire pornography. So yeah, a little descriptive there. Living Dead in Dallas. It's a really good book. I like how Suki uses her disability or her gift just to go help out the vampires, but make sure that the humans don't get harmed. I like that she's really strong in believing that. And I also like that we get to meet these different characters and just see the way the different vampires have mainstreamed or just dealt with society. And it's just fascinating how Suki meets another telepath, so she's very happy when she meets Barry, the bellboy. And I love how in this book, Suki meets up with more supernatural beings. She finds out that there's more shapeshifters and there's different things like werewolves and that. And then they finally find out how Lafayette died. It just, it builds on the first book and it's really good. I quite like the characters and I find it a really fascinating book. Luna sounds like a very interesting character. When they were captured in the Fellowship, that was very interesting. And I didn't really expect Godfrey to turn out the way he did. So I like that. And has anyone actually read the True Blood series? Just out of curiosity. I'm looking forward to continuing on in the series. I'm on the third book now, which is Club Dead, and I hope that it's just as good as the first two. It doesn't take me too long to read them, but because I'm keeping busy with friends and just getting out of the house because I can't stand to be here too long, I get bored if I sit still for more than five minutes. So yeah. I hope life kind of settles back into a regular routine for you there, Chelsea. And I will be happy when we get to see Stella's face again. It's been too long. Hope you girls have a really good weekend. And Chelsea, I'll see you on Monday.